This is a sight you can't see anymore. The winding head frames of the former Kevin Coyd Colliery. Dismantled for safety reasons two years ago, but with the promise they'd soon be restored and reinstated. As far as the headgears themselves are concerned, they add something to this valley. It is a very picturesque spot. They've chopped them down and left them on site to rest for two years. Now that wasn't in the planning conditions and that was not what was in the planning application that they submitted. I am very concerned for the site. Built in the 1920s, parts of the site were kept in use until 1990. The Welsh Government now owns the land. It got permission to take down and restore the Grade 2 listed head frames in 2016. But two years on, it admits it will miss the deadline to complete the first stage of the project. This is hugely disappointing. People were made promises two, two and a half years ago that these towers would be back up, uh, you know, restoring the magnificence of the site. And it's not particularly clear why that's not happened. If this is a case that surveys were done and they were incomplete or incorrect, there are questions to be answered there. And if the costs have gone up as a result of that, then we need to know about that as well. Well, despite carrying out a number of surveys before the structures were taken down, the Welsh Government says subsequent surveys have shown the work needed is more extensive than previously thought. As a result, the predicted cost of the project has nearly tripled to £1.3 million, and that's before the restoration work has even begun. Time is running out, and the Welsh Government has now formally applied to extend the project. It told ITV News it expects to appoint a contractor by November. But campaigners worry they'll have a long wait before these tower over the valley again. Mike Griffiths, ITV News.